Tomorrow morning, a man charged with stabbing five people on the Apple River in Wisconsin will stand trial on first-degree murder charges. Nikolai Miyu is facing a life sentence for killing a teenager on the river in July of 2022. But Miyu is arguing self-defense during an escalating conflict with younger tubers. Tonight, our Paul Bloom is breaking down the legal issues at stake. On Monday morning, the trial of Nikolai Miyu finally gets underway here in St. Croix County Circuit Court. Miyu is now 54. He's charged with five counts, including first-degree intentional murder for killing Stillwater teenager Isaac Schumann with a knife on that hot July day back in 22. After seeing the impact my brother had on people, I want to thank Isaac for giving my family and I the best 17 years of our lives. Four others were stabbed during the confrontation on the Apple River, including Riley Matson. My friend instantly, you know, saw that I was bleeding out and yelled to my other friends, you need to call 911. We spoke to Riley from her hospital bed in the days that followed. I didn't really see a knife. I recall maybe something kind of poking out of his fingers, kind of like this, um, holding down by his side, but I don't recall for sure if it was a blade or not. The question the jury will soon have to answer. Were the stabbings an intentional act to kill and injure? Or was it, as Miyu has maintained, a justified case of self-defense to protect his own life during a chaotic encounter with a group of young tubers? And what is the bottom line when it comes to a defendant arguing self-defense? Sure, the, the, the defendant has a burden of producing some evidence that they acted reasonably in self-defense. Uh, they have to reasonably believe that they were going to suffer some attack and that that attack was uh, going to result in great bodily harm or death. Attorney Eric Nelson won a high-profile acquittal in a deadly self-defense case in Wisconsin back in 2015. We, the jury, find the defendant, Levi Aker Kendall, not guilty. Levi Aker Kendall was charged with homicide in the stabbing death of Peter Kelly during a nighttime riverfront altercation along the St. Croix. The last thing I remember seeing was his tennis shoes and my flip-flops, and I just... I, I stabbed him. Aker Kendall here testified in his own defense, even physically demonstrating what happened during the fight. Nelson tells me he expects me, you, will ultimately have to do the same. To raise self-defense, you have to act with the intent to defend yourself, and you need to explain why you defended yourself, what you were feeling, what you were thinking, what you were seeing. Miu remains jailed, but court filings hint at his defense. Miu claimed he was using snorkel gear to search for a friend's lost cell phone when he thought a group of younger tubers may have found something and he approached. That is when things escalated quickly with some witnesses describing Miu's behavior on the river as, quote, sketchy and disgusting. Miu telling investigators he feared for his life, that the group became more agitated, calling him obscene names before turning on him and assaulting him in the water. It's going to go directly to what you were feeling and what you were fearing in that moment. If you're in the water, well, any one of those guys could bring you down and kill you. Nelson, who brings years of experience as a defense attorney in high-stakes cases, including the murder trial of Derek Chauvin, believes a central piece of evidence will be witness cell phone video that captured several minutes of the encounter and could ultimately clear up questions about who pulled the knife first. Miu is quoted by authorities as saying he did not have a knife on him but instead grabbed one from a tuber during the confrontation. But his wife told investigators Miu had a knife in his pocket. Nelson says the video won't lie. Video evidence gives the jury the opportunity to analyze what happened in that moment. And so presuming that that video captures the entire attack, the provocation that led up to that attack, what was happening, uh, it could be critical. Memories are faulty. People are afraid in circumstances like this, and a jury is given the opportunity to forgive those types of inconsistencies uh, if they can see what actually happened. The MIU trial is set to get underway here Monday morning with jury selection. The court has sent out these 15-page pre-trial questionnaires, already weeding out several dozen prospective jurors based on written answers, mainly availability and also preconceived opinions and biases in this high-profile case. The hope, get the jury seated in the morning and then get to opening statements Monday afternoon. Reporting from the St. Croix County Courthouse in Hudson, Paul Bloom.
Fox 9.